Live outside. Hello, everybody. What's going on? Myself, Tattoo Twiner, along with my buddy, Mr. Harry Sands, Harry Sandman PR Vlog. We're here with the tag team toy collectors. Echo. Do you hear an echo? Yes. On my side? It's either my side or... Because I don't have anything running. What's going on here? I have an echo. Oh, you're echoing. It's me. It's me. We have to find someone to blame. Do dog's in the chat. Do dog? Or he was in the chat. We might have missed him. Oh. I'm still looking to get on the stream on my phone as we well. We'd love to have do dog on here if he wants. That would be awesome. Okay, here we go. I found it. What's up, Mr. Do? How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, so we're having a stream tonight. We're going to give away a couple of prizes. Uh, how you doing, sir? Let's do it. We're going to be giving away a couple of prizes tonight, and we're going to talk about the Toy Fair. Uh, I guess rumors. rumors and, yeah. Rumors and... Uh... There's a few other people we're waiting to jump on to with us. It's Valentine's Day. We understand. It's Valentine's Day, sir. So there may, who knows if anybody's going to show up or whatnot. They may get the look. You know the look. Yeah. <laughs> Normal nights we get the look. This night you get extra look. The extra look, yeah. The stank extra look is lethal. The stank eye. Eye rolls. All that stuff. At the same time. Okay, Mr. Blucher sent me a email, so let me get him added. Kev will be giving away a prize at the end of this hour. It's 9.20 p.m. Eastern. And by the end of this hour, uh, it's 8.20 p.m. Central. You'll be choosing a winner for the first giveaway prize of the stream, which is an elite Alundra Blaze WWE Elite figure that he found at his Walmart today. He went, made a special hunt <coughs> just for the viewers of the street. Just for you guys. And that's prize one. And then on the second hour, another prize given at the end of the hour. Leela, I'm going to hit you. No, it's fine. I'm just kidding. No one sees you. Hey, there's Dude Dog. He's in the chat. All right. He's ready. He's down. I uh sent an invite for Blucher. For Blucher, yeah, he should be jumping on here. I would love to discuss the whole Mattel, Disney, and Hasbro. For sure. Over. Yeah, that'd be interesting because to see what people think, because I know a lot of people aren't happy with how things are starting to roll out. <laughs> uh. Oh. For sure, sir. So. You happy to get your new pickup, bud? What, Kane? Yeah. Yes, I love him. It was my first face effects figure. I've been waiting, you know, holding back because a lot of the ones prior to Elite Wave 63 have been uh, just wrestlers I'm not interested in. Yeah. And ones I already have, and there's not that big of a an improvement. But this is one I never got a a, a, a regular lead elite. So looks so realistic, man. It, it looks just like Len Jacobs, the now mayor of Knoxville, Tennessee. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, it's garbage. Okay, let me. I'm gonna add Mr. Do. He gave you an email. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
I saw that AJ. They had the AJ too. One AJ. The one in the gray outfit with the face effects. That's awesome. But I'm still okay with my blue one. I'm still happy with him. Yeah. So he's not you can get him at Big Lots right now, nationwide, ten bucks. Is that week. right? Yeah, he's part of the way that Big Lots got. Okay. There's not many of him per case, per se. You're going to see all kinds of Samoa Joes and Kevin Owens. Every now and then you can find an, an AJ at Big Lots. This AJ for 10 bucks. He comes with the hood, the down hood. There's even a hood in the up position covering his head that you can put on too. So it's changeable. That is awesome. The the face effects one, I believe Doo Dog has that. The face effects? Yeah. AJ. He's got every AJ ever released. I won't tell it story, but Doo Dips in the same county as AJ Styles. Ah. In Georgia. Really? Oh, that's right. He's he actually he actually encountered him at his Walmart. Oh, but that's crazy. Dude, he I'll let him tell that story though. Mr. V's in the chat. How are you, sir? Mr. V, what's up, buddy? Thank you for joining us. Uh, the first hour, we'll be giving away. A, Kevin went did a hunt today just for you guys, our watch, people watching the stream, to win the first hour prize, which is a Lunge Blaze Elite WWE uh, flashback wave, the one that comes with half of the Shawn Michaels bed. Yeah. All right, I'm sending a second invite to Mr. Blucher. Maybe I should send a second one to our buddy Do also. I don't know if it's got issues today or what. Stuck at work. He's at work. We feel you, bro. Got to make that fig cash. Ah, it's terrible. <laughs> yeah, I got to do it. What? Yeah, we're funny. Brick by brick. Howdy. How's it going? Hello. How's everybody doing tonight? We're gonna uh, doing a giveaway tonight, everybody. So try to stick around as long as you can. The first hour, when the first hour's up, we're gonna do a giveaway. Uh, David's having some issues. Uh, right uh, oh there man. You. <laughs> the proud yeah, leader of the dog pound. We all up in here now. Welcome to the tag team live stream. <laughs> yeah, brother. It's an honor to have you, bud. Hey, had to get my hey. good old sweet tea first, you know. What okay. I'm saying? That mason jar, brother. We were just telling, I was telling Kev about your encounter with the AJ Styles in your local Walmart. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. You care to recite that story for us? I mean, yeah, sure. So, pretty awesome. Um, actually, I, I first ran into him. I'm, I was on a toy hunt, obviously, like we all usually. Right. Are. And I was. We know what aisle you was on, dude. Dog. We know what aisle. Oh you. yeah. Oh yeah. So I was uh, <laughs> in GameStop at first, and I'll be honest, man, I was zoned in to the action figures, whatever, and uh, I heard this familiar voice, and I'm like, that sounds really <laughs> familiar. And no, God is my witness, dude. It was only me and the employee and this person, you know, which come to find out it was AJ. So I turned around and I'm like, that he had his hoodie on. So you really couldn't, you know, right, right. Act, you know, muscular, but I couldn't tell who he was so anyways. But I'm like, dang, dude, this guy looks so, or sounds so familiar. So anyways, yeah. the whole, I'm kind of, I ain't allowed to eavesdropping too. I was hearing this conversation. Sure. <laughs> So come to find out, he was looking for a Nintendo Switch uh, for his son. And when he turned around, I was like, holy cow, that's AJ Styles. So oh my God, dude. did not know Gainesville, Georgia, hometown. He still lives there. When he's not ready, right. y'all see him on TV. When you don't see him on TV, that's where he's at. And uh, so anyways, I'm not going to lie, dude. I, I became a stalker for a second because he left. And for whatever reason, GameStop didn't have the uh, Switch. Yeah. So we went to the Walmart, which is in the same parking lot. Okay. I was like, let me follow this dude. 
Because I already asked him. I was like, okay, I already know what he's looking for. Hmm. So I kind of, I ain't allowed. So you went straight to electronics. Exactly. <laughs> I the store myself, like the back of my hand. So I was like, I know exactly where this dude's going, man. So I kind of beat, you know, skipped down another aisle so he wouldn't think I was following him or whatever. And sure enough, man, I come around the corner and there he is looking at the glass case, looking at the Nintendo Switch. So then I was like, you know what? I'm not going to be one of those fanboy freaking out. You know, I don't want to cause a scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got his hoodie on. He's trying to be. Respecting his space. Yeah, exactly. So I I just kind of walked up to him. I said, "Uh, hey, man, is your name AJ Styles? And he goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I said, okay. I told him, I said, I'm James, dude, or whatever. And. Dude, he spent, no joke, like 15 good minutes just hanging out talking, man. It was oh, good. man. So for somebody of his stature and his right to, to be humble like that, it was a Right. Man. He is humble, and he is uh, so down to earth. He's not full of himself. And, like, somebody like that could easily say, you know, have an assistant pick this up for me. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. And here he is in the store in Walmart. So here's something if you didn't know. He actually he's a huge video gamer. And he's an action figure collector. But so that's pretty neat to name, you know. But that's awesome. But the video games, he, man, he loves it. So so tattoo, brother, what's going on, buddy? Not too much, sir. Just uh working and doing the Doing the family thing, that's about it. I hear you, man. Yeah. Same here, brother. Trust me. Trying to stay healthy. <laughs> yeah, that's important. While I'm sitting here eating this Rice Krispie treat, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. those are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to stay healthy. Those hey, are delicious. Let's welcome Someone David. Like Hi, David. What's going on, fellas? Sorry about the technical difficulties. I had a hard time trying to get on this thing. So I was like, man, I might have to miss this stream if my Hangouts isn't working. So I finally was able to get it going and stuff. Well, so. well we're glad you're aboard. And, um, Kev, if you want to go over what you'll be giving away. Uh, that's, yeah. 25 minutes or so. Okay, y'all chat. I'm going to switch over to my tablet, and I'm going to go to my little little station, okay? All right. So, Doodog, uh, let us ask you about Toy Fair. Yeah. I'm sorry, my dogs are fighting. That's all right. They're fighting over a Nala bone, even though we have three of them. Those dogs are savages, man. Savages, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I told you, man. You can hear them. They're sad. Hey, uh, there's ramblings in the industry about this play that Disney's trying to do. So Disney's trying to make a play for Mattel. Really? Have you not heard this yet? I have. That's news to me. I news to you. Well, breaking news to do, dog, from the tag team. <laughs> Very reliable source. Yeah. A lot of DC license to just go is because there's been things in the in the works. Uh, Disney is gonna acquire Mattel. Okay. And then Disney's gonna take the license to make Marvel Legends and Star Wars from Hasbro. And manufacture them with their own toy company, Mattel. It all starts in 2020. Man, that's crazy, dude. Dude, what a shakeup, right? Well, isn't it amazing the whole, the last month, well, this year, 2019, like the whole toy community has been shaken up. Right, man. it's the merry-go-round of licenses. Crazy. Like McFarlane's, we just did it. McFarlane's getting, you know, DC, DC and then the Mortal Kombat. Right. I mean, Mortal Kombat. What? You're a, a firm, a big time collector of Storm, and they've been loyal to that brand. Yeah, that's very interesting. Um, because I mean, while we're talking about Storm, let me see if I can flip this around. Yeah, you have an, an awesome ensemble of. I don't know if I can. Flip MK. It. Yeah. Okay. 
So, yeah, here's the story. If y'all don't know, those of y'all that may not, that storm, I'm not bragging. I'm just showing you since Sandman. Oh, right yeah, there. no. But, Please. But, like, yeah, exactly. So, Storm Collectibles does a, a ridiculously incredible job, as you can see. So, I don't under, I don't know what the plan is for McFarlane, but it's going to be interesting because, I mean, these are super posable and hyper-realistic. I mean, look at that Goro, man. Looks amazing. Do they think... Do they possibly think McFarlane can reproduce a quality on par with that, but at a lower price point? Honestly, man, it had to be the the price point because the quality of these are incredible, right? You know, so it had to be it had to be the price. I mean, I don't I think McFarlane's I, now. Don't get me wrong; I'm a McFarlane fan, which is rare. McFarlane Toys fan, right? But Storm Collectible, it's a premium product. I mean, obviously. Um, it's not just expensive just to be expensive, but it's actual good quality, you know, stuff. Right. So all the pieces and Yeah, I guess it has to be uh, there's nothing cheap. Exactly. Exactly. I agree. There that's about as good as it's gonna get, right? Uh quality wise. Yeah, so I would have to say McFarland, they'd have to uh it have to be for the to get it retail, basically. So I how can you uh, how can you make a product that goes in a blister pack and it's in the twenty five dollars price point? That's exactly. gonna still maintain that level of realism that makes it look like they're straight out of the game. Well, see, that's the problem with uh, that people don't. A lot of people don't realize or understand in the collector community. I, you know, is exactly what you just said. There's no way. They're gonna get it's it. just there is no medium ground to. Yeah, you're gonna lose something. You're gonna either lose articulation. The corporations aren't gonna lose though, because the bottom line. Yeah, it's all about that money, brother. <laughs> I mean, let's just be honest. With you, man. <coughs> That's it. Man, I'm I'm still blown away what you just told me about the hotel and Disney. Though. Yes, yes. What? I some very. very of people in the industry that have been hinting at Disney acquiring Mattel yes. and Disney retracting the license of Marvel Legends and Star Wars from Hasbro and then developing them themselves with their own recently purchased toy company. That's crazy, dude. That's awesome, though. Speaking of AJ, there's my AJ Army right there, you know. Oh, yeah. I was telling uh, wow, Kevin about, look at this, bro. He's got every AJ ever released. Basic. <laughs> The, There's two new ones right there, though. Yeah, the gray one. Is that the face effects? Actually, the blue one is the face effects, but I don't have that, that gray one you're talking about. I don't have Yeah, yeah. One, but that's the only one I don't have at the moment. But, but you'll get them. It's just, a, it's just a matter of time. Yeah, I just like, I, I'm a little more old school. I like finding them on the peg. Yeah. I mean, I could get it online if I wanted. Obviously, yeah, but that one you know you will encounter. Exactly. Of course, your boy Goldberg, you got to have him, man. I mean, old bird, man. That's old bird. Yeah. <laughs> Another Georgia boy. Exactly. And have see, you ever met him guy. before? Do what? Have you ever met Goldberg? I've never met Goldberg, but man, I would love to. I would love to meet Goldberg. But like even Rhonda right here, even though it's a, mm -hmm. a basic figure. I literally yeah. got excited when I found this on the peg. You know what I'm saying? Kevin has her. He loves her. Yeah, it's, it's a good looking figure, man. Even though, it, you know, it's basic, but it is. I enjoy it. Of course, you had the little zombie guy right here. But... Oh, yeah, yeah. Even the zombie variant. And then the little Hasbro. Oh, David Blucher could appreciate that version. Oh, yeah. So, David, so who, who are you exactly, brother? I don't know if I know you or not. But. No, I am. Uh, my name is David. I uh, run a channel called Blukers Videos and Collectibles. Okay. Uh, Blukers. Yeah, Blukers is my is my last name. Okay. And uh, so um, I'm more of a vintage collector. I do collect some modern. And um, I am a huge Jurassic Park and Jurassic World fan. Uh, all my brothers from the tag team community can vouch for that. Yes, and uh, I can, I can pretty much, uh, I pretty much have every, almost every single Jurassic World uh, that 
Mattel has produced. And um, also, I do. I just started getting into the uh, Jurassic Park vintage game. You know, they're a little pricey, so I got to pick my battles with that one. Yeah. So I'm slowly, yeah, I'm slowly coming up on that. Um, I'm also a huge uh, uh, Hasbro uh, wrestling fan, as you can tell right here. And I got a large collection of that. Okay. And um, yeah, and I'm a toy biz guy. I know a lot of people like uh, Hasbro's uh, um, Marvel stuff, but uh, I I'm a diehard toy biz guy. So as Man, you can I'm tell in the front, the toy biz. I yeah. Mean, that's what when I got started um, about five years ago. Yeah. Uh, that's what I, I didn't know anything. Literally, like I was. A rookie. I had no idea, you know, and that's what I started collecting. I, I just didn't know. And I jumped. The first thing I bought was uh, the Sentinel Wave mint on card. Now yeah. Back before everybody went stupid. Now they're trying to sell Sentinels for $250 back then. Right. Five years ago, I was buying the, a sealed set for like a hundred bucks, you know, just cre- but it was toy biz, you know, but, but y'all know how that, yeah. y'all know how that scalper market works. Yeah. Um, I'm not really a big Legends fan, but I have started you know, getting into the Toy Biz Legends game, and so I have a, a handful of those. But I'm more of the, uh, the the little guys, you know, these guys right here. These are these are my style of, of figures. So oh, I got a I you, I yeah you. yeah I got a I got a few of those. And uh, for anybody that knows that I am a huge Kenner fan, so I have yes. a large collection of Kenner. So here is one of my uh, Terminator uh, T2 Power Arm Terminator. And the reason why I brought that out is because I had just recently purchased uh, the NECA version of it. It's so I wanted to do a uh, size comparison or a side-by-side comparison, should I say, on it because I wanted to see how close that... NECA, if if y'all can't see that, I'm sorry about my quality of the uh, yeah, lighting. Okay, good, good, cool. Uh, so, as you can tell, that you know NECA goes well into detail. And then here is the vintage one right here. Yeah. So. See. And so. Now that that what you're doing right now, that's the kind of stuff I love because there's nothing like having the original, the Kenner. Mm-hmm. Then have sure. a, you know, updated neck. See, I love that kind of stuff. Looking at you know comparisons, I can do that all day. It's yeah. almost like the history of action figures or something, you know. Neca, yep. Neca is famous for doing that, right? Paying homage to Kenner. It's not. Yes, the- they. Because uh, uh, Harry, because you remember when you had sent me in a trade of the uh, the Predator figure, the yes. Neca one. Yeah. Yeah. So I still have that. It's, it's in the. Like, it's in the bedroom. Uh, <laughs> I, give, I guess the same example would be that you talk. You said you like toy. There's the toy this six arm Spidey. Yeah, that's Dave's bread and brother. He loves the four inch line more than anything. Well, there's the four inch line exactly. So there's that. And I think we that. all had those right in the early '90s as kids, as teens. Oh yeah, man. I wish I still had mine, honestly. But, Did you divulge in that at that age, do dog, or were you moving yeah, man, that little... and music and girls? And... Nah, brother, I was a nerd straight up. Okay. Uh, matter of fact, David's table right here with that Wolverine, that Colossus, that Storm, that Nightcrawler. Yeah, I had every one of them. I had those Ooh. Ninja Turtles on top up there. I had all that stuff. And the reason why I have this set up the way I have it set up because you know a lot of people. Who had known me as the dinosaur guy, so I just wanted to show out there a little showcase that I collect more than just dinosaurs. For those who are new viewers and are trying to get familiar with on my side of the table, you know. I hear you. So now, what do you think so, about the new six-inch stuff that uh, Mattel is supposed to do with Jurassic Park, like the six-inch, <clears throat> the new movie? I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan at all. So you're straight up. That's he prefers yeah. the three and three quarter inch for Jurassic. I'm a, I'm a, I don't collect black series. Anybody that knows me knows I don't collect black series. I tried to get into it. It just, it just wasn't for me, you I know. 
Yeah, so I'm just uh, I'm a three 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 excuse me <laughs> a three and three quarters guy all the way. Okay, so, that's awesome. Man. Yeah. Well, that's like me. I'm basically ninety nine percent of my collection is six inch scale. So I mean, so I get it. I mean, I understand. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, they're nice figures, you know. Uh, they've gotten better as time went on, but it's just it's just not me. It's not my niche. Now, I went I went stupid for about three months and bought a couple of hot toys, <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, nah, <laughs> dog, that's way too expensive. <laughs> that's ridiculous." The three you yeah. have, you do love though, right? Oh no, don't get me wrong, Eric crazy insane incredible i mean you know they're awesome but man that's just you know how many you know how many marvel legends you can buy <laughs> or or wwf wrestling figures or whatever i mean boy you could buy a bunch of <laughs> you know this is colossus right here in a dinosaur form <laughs> and this is from the yeah this is uh from i don't have storm that goes with them but there's a uh a, a savage the lands monster. line yeah yeah savage lands you know that's right and they they got like i think there's four of them and i just happened to uh pick this up for a few bucks at a local shop of mine here in town it's right up the street from me and um i just need to find the storm that goes with it I've, i'll look again um about two or three months ago, I was in a local comic shop and they had two of those sets, like still in box, like never been opened. Oh yeah, one of them was Sauron, I think. Yeah, he's one of them. Yeah, and then another one was uh, what's his name, Kazar and the saber tooth tiger. Yeah, but if they, if I go back in there, I'll check it out just to you know if you are interested in it, but. I don't even know how much they were. But. Oh, cool. Appreciate it. Just to let you know something about uh, David's audience, too, dog. I know you're a, <clears throat> a man who's take your YouTube very serious and you've found a way to harness the algorithm and you know what works. Let me tell you something about Dave's channel. His, his uh, broken reviews on dinosaurs that been released in his area before anywhere else. And uh, the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Battle Damage 2-Pack by Mattel, his video he uploaded 10 months ago has over 20,000 views. Nice. 20,000, one video. Yeah, dude. And then you oh. hit the uh, Indoraptor video, the Indoraptor that everyone picked up because it scaled with Marvel Legends. Everyone wanted a cool raptor. Yeah. I work with 6 inch. Uh, that's it's over 10,000 views, and I'm not sure you have another mega one, don't you, David? I'm overlooking. Oh, that. I don't, I don't even remember because I don't even pay attention to that kind of stuff. <laughs> he, he, he isn't, he doesn't. We do numbers, <laughs> he just like y'all do, but I don't. <laughs> we, we he's, pay a, he's our resident paleontologist, but he just loves to share, you know, what the investment of the cost of the product is it worth it? How does it compare to the last version of this toy? Get all that from Dave's channel. Well, I, you know, that's the kind of stuff I love, man, because the down-to-earth folks that, like all of us, tech, you know, I just met David, but like me, I have a full-time job, and it ain't YouTube. Two of them. I got a, you a have two full-time -time jobs. Job. I'm a plumber, and it ain't YouTube, you know what I'm saying? And, right. uh, you know, so YouTube, it's my hobby. It's fun. But uh, at the end of the day, if if Google decided to say, "Hey, YouTube is no not more, existing, no more, that's no more payouts," me personally, you know what I mean, or my family, or whatever. I mean, it is what it right. is. Now, those guys out there that's big dogs, hey, I, that's awesome, and I think that's great. But it's a little skittish to put all your eggs in that one basket on a digital platform because I'm telling you, if one little thing happens, and no more YouTube. I mean, what do you do then? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So I yeah, just do it for as a hobby. So it's just a hobby for me, you know, and it's just something I like to do. Tell you, as a collector, leave it as a hobby. Do not let it take over your life. Yeah. Exactly. I agree, man. Like even where I'm at now, I've been doing the YouTube thing uh, right at four years, been collecting a little over five years. And I've been doing YouTube, and now 
or actually last year was the first time I got to the point where I was, you know, making money or whatever. But guys, I'm going to tell you, <laughs> when I say that, I'm saying you talking about a hundred dollars a month or something, which don't get me wrong. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> one time something crazy. I don't even know how it happened. I couldn't tell you. I wish I could. I wish I could, or I'd write a book and let you know too. But uh, one month <laughs> I made like $340 one time, one time. Other words, I ain't quitting my job no time soon. <laughs> that must be in before the Suicide Forest incident. Before what now? The Suicide Forest, one of the uh, those twins, the the guy he went to that Suicide Forest in Japan. Oh, and then there was yeah. the monetization yeah. day. That's Everybody right. That's right. was. Yeah, that's right. Because well, the I mean, bar was lower back then. I mean, you could get monetized easier. Yeah, that's yeah. right. And then they started. Now they got it where you got to have a thousand subscribers, no matter what. Right. And then you got to have eight thousand watch time. Yeah, eight thousand hours. Right. In so, a one calendar year. Exactly. Total. In a Which, year. I mean, it, it it sounds intimidating, but really it's not. You take somebody like a Tattoo Toy Hunter, or even yourself. I guarantee y'all as much as y'all put out, which right. may not be. Well, I know Tattoo that boy putting it out all like three. Or four well, years. Kevin, he, 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 he puts more. Kevin puts more than me. Let's <laughs> listen to what Kevin did because he was in a hobby where he knew very little about this product. He knows a lot about computers and he loves uh, culture and he loves collecting. But he knew very little in the collecting industry, and he went to the big dogs, and he said, hey, I want to grow my channel. And he was just shunned and told, you know, you don't have the look. You're too old. You're too this. So he did it on his own, and he, did, and he developed the tag team to take other guys who were him a year ago, a year and a half ago, yeah. who everyone said, you don't, you don't have what it takes to be a, to a toy tuber. Right. And see – me and this is what we've got in common. You got me that's pretty bold because I'm on a stage every week. Right. Know? And I can talk to one person comfortably or I can talk to, to 20,000 people comfortably in one, in one city. And God's blessed me with that opportunity on multiple occasions where I've had that opportunity. So right. I did the same exact thing Kevin did. I was innocent. I was gullible. Right. I was a rookie. And I went yeah. straight to uh, <clears throat> people at their face people. value. Sure. Man, they slapped me in the face and basically said, screw you. <laughs> basically. <laughs> and so somebody like me, though, I, you know, we've all made mistakes in life. But, man, I don't, you know, of course, I, I don't take that kind of stuff lightly. Like, I don't let people run over me. You know what I mean? And so uh, sure. I was a little more brash about it <laughs> or whatever. And so now I've got the people that don't like me or whatever, which is fine. I mean, I you know, that's irrelevant to me. But those people would never tell me anything. They wouldn't give me any information. They wouldn't give me, you know, man, they wouldn't even tell me what light to use, what camera to use. I mean, even little bitty simple stuff, you know. That's why I love hey, turn that down. guys like y'all, because we can just hang out for a minute. Put it this way, put it this way. Who do you know? No joke, no joke. Which big timer do you know, toy community guy, you could just straight up go on their live stream and say, hey, like y'all did tonight, just now. Right. Hey, and you, you, know, you want to join us? Hey, very, yeah. very gracious. And you said yes. And and, I, and that, that's not bragging. I'm just giving you an example. You ain't going to find nobody, dude. <laughs> that's Kevin, that's it's time for you to pick a winner for a Lunger Blaze. Kevin uh, dipped out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's probably chatting. So who's the brother with the X-Force shirt on right here? Gandhi. Wayne. Yes. Hi. Do -Dog <laughs> wants to, you want to introduce yourself to Do Dog? Well, and... I had my X-Men shirt on, so I didn't know. I <laughs> yeah, I can introduce myself. Um, I'm uh, with... Uh, Life Anime Gaming or LAG to and Toys, um, Vintage Collector, uh, smaller channel, um, but uh, you know, uh, collect like uh, Hulk, Incredible Hulk, uh, all, all kind of vintage uh, items like you know, Skeleton Warriors, um, 
and all the old eighties toys. Awesome, dude. Yeah. And see, that's out of my that's out of my league, out of my territory because I don't I don't do the vintage stuff. Um, but I really love looking at it. You know what I mean? Like even though I don't collect it, I can stand there for hours looking at it. You know, or whatever. Because I do enjoy it. I, I enjoy, that's why I enjoy people like you guys because I don't have that stuff to see. Yeah, I yeah. I, 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 I was at the beginning. I was kind of a, a a new school toy collector. You know, like the legends and all that. And you know, I, I like that stuff. But you know, my heart li- lies with uh, the uh, you know vintage. I love He Man. I love t- Turtles. I love Skeletal Warriors. I love uh, Sectors. You know, all that old school stuff. I mean, to me, going into a garage and finding a whole box of like. Those old school stuff is like finding gold. You know, you can go to yeah, Walmart, pick up, you pick up a a legend, but when you go into somebody's attic and find something that's totally and absolutely complete, you know, or, or walk into that toy store like I did in Hilton Head, you know, and find all that stuff just sitting there and you didn't even know that it existed. You know, that's what I like finding. The thrill of the hunt, brother. Yep, that's why. That's why I like. You know, and I mean. I mean, you know, I'm, me and uh, Tattoo Toy Hunter are somewhat same type, same type of people. We we like that old school stuff, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yep. I think the only old thing I don't see that I got is, uh, and I actually found this at somebody's. This little metal uh, robot guy right here. I don't even know who it is. But you see that? It's, it's made of die cast. <clears throat> It's like a die-cast Japanese rope. It's got Japanese writing on it, too. <laughs> but I have no idea. Yeah, each everybody in the tag team, man, we all have, like, our own likes, but we all cl- um, mesh together because, you know, if, if one of us can't find something, you know, the other person is saying, oh, yeah, well, maybe, we, maybe I can find it for you. And then, you know, we all, you know, take care of each other. So that's what it's about. Well, yeah, that's exactly what it's supposed to be about. No doubt about it. Yeah. Hmm. Harry. Yeah. Since no one's looking at the chat, <laughs> I was in another room like screaming. Sorry, brother. Three of you ready to give something away? Well, I need to – I have to put in some names first. I need to okay. tell everybody to, I guess, put their name down if they want in because I'm going to put it in a randomized uh, picker where you just enter it into the field. I'm on it. I'll get on there and do that. Okay, and I'm going to switch back over to my computer so I can... So this is the first hour giveaway, guys. It's a Lunger Blaze, WWE Leads, Flashback Series. Kevin went to Walmart to buy this to give away for you guys. Today. Yeah, you must be in the chat, right? To to win. So make sure you're in the chat and make sure you're watching because we got another giveaway coming up in another hour as well after this one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, well, do I got some? Right. Brad Campbell needs to be entered. Mr. Brad. And then Oh My Rickers. Mr. Well, v, Brad v. Campbell. That's the same Brad. And Mr. V Games. Yeah, that's the syndicate, Brad Campbell, there. Oh, snap. With the amazing uh, editing. <laughs> yeah, he's that guy, man, and his video editing, his skill is top notch. That's the so, one and only Mr. Brad Campbell. So, <laughs> one, three, one, is that Dondi's wife? All right. Who else do we got? I got like three people. <laughs> Doomsday Comics. Hey man, three minutes, I got a better chance. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sure. The odds are good. Yeah. I don't think it's fair if we didn't turn anyone so. Doo Dog can be in there. Mr. Do. Uh, I mean, that's a fair hey, opportunity. Audio. Hey Sierra, are you still in the chat? I want to see uh, see Doo Dog chop it up and do some custom work. Yeah, oh, dude. his customs are. He's not scared to pull out a blowtorch if he needs one. <laughs> I will melt it down, dude. <laughs> he will do what it takes. Like, 
I see you getting a CNC machine eventually. Make it into somebody else. Honestly, I'll tell you what I wish I had. The other day when I <clears> cut <throat> my uh, six-arm spider or melted it or whatever, I wish I had a, a bandsaw blade to make a smooth mm-hmm. cut. But I had to do what, what I had to do. 3D man. printing, Drew Dog. Is that something you see yourself looking more and more as like being able to make accessories to the scale you want? Uh, that's a really good question. Honestly, it's... They've become happens. they've become more affordable and attainable now. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's something for me. It's more like uh, it's therapeutic <laughs> to do cut, hey, to uh, paint it to break stuff apart. I don't know. It's weird, but put stuff back together, man. I don't know. But I've always been wired like that. That's why I'm a a plumber. That's why I've been. You like your hands on getting exactly, in there, man. I want to dissect it. I want to take a toilet apart. I want to take a faucet apart. And right. Put it back together. Same thing with these action figures. I want to. I want to know how they work. I don't know why. You pretty <laughs> happy with your modification to uh, Hercules? Dude, I love it. Here he is. Oh, okay. Did you put the All Father's legs on there? Yes, sir. And that got him where he needed to be on height. Exactly. I mean, he should have been in this same height as Ares. As like what Brock mentioned. Exactly. He shouldn't that's, be shorter than Aries. That was the only legs I could find that were proportional, that looked right. Good, you know, and, and they fit the period too. It's that <coughs> style. It's Nordic. It's exactly. mythological. Well, and the beauty of it is, like I tried to tell people, you know how folks are, man, but they're getting kind of like, why did you cut it up? I was like, yeah, but. I made it to where you can swap it back. No big deal. Like literally five oh. seconds. You just keep these pills. If you wanted to make him out of the package again, you could with the Exactly. Package. Like if I whatever. I, I'm not I mean, I love the figure, so but let's just say I wanted to sell it or trade it or whatever. Literally five seconds I could put it back to the factory, you know, no big deal. So I look forward to getting that figure. I, I love Characters that have swords. Yeah, man, those old barbaric. Yeah, Thor and Bar. Yeah, Conan and all those. Ares. Guys. You know, I love the Ares legend from the Ragnarok wave. That's why I have a. Now I'm not done with it by any means, but I started my own uh, Thor uh, shelf right here. Oh, a hey, uh, Thor uh, universe. Asgardian is what I was trying to. Asgardian. Show. Oh yeah. But yeah, like Ulick and. All these guys, Thor's dad or granddaddy or whatever. Right. Just a big. That's neat. Big old dudes, man. Like Very cool. Thor's, all that crazy. Beefy. I guess you could throw Kratos in there if you wanted. Yeah. You could do that. The, the new Kratos, the modern Kratos. They got him up here with the horse and all that. Oh, there you go. There you go. Now that's the older one, but the newer one. Right. And I'm a sucker for uh, bearded characters too, so. Right. Like these guys, you know, the new Kratos with the beard and all that. Yes. It's a great looking figure. Yeah. It is pretty impressive. The game is really, really fun too. That uh, the Kratos, the God of War game is like one of the best games, you know, on the PS4, in my opinion. Oh, no, I agree. I agree. Very awesome game. And then, uh, I gotta pick this guy up. But this was actually on clearance at Best Buy. Look how huge this guy uh, is. Yeah, he's like 18 inches tall. I mean, look That's at awesome. this. It's freaky looking, man. It's so real looking. Here's the random picker, everyone. Anyway. Moment of truth that you win a Lundra Blaze. Uh, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Drum roll. This is just okay. one of two giveaways. Second hour. Uh, this is not the bigger one. This is this is the Blaze uh, Elite. WWE. She's Think a legend in the women's wrestling. A Lundra Blaze. Even if you have her, you can repaint her. You can do some custom work with her. Yeah. Absolutely. Her head works for almost any female character. Yeah, I remember Alondra Blaze when she was in WCW when she started out as Medusa. Everyone remembers what she did. Oh, yeah. WWF title. Yeah. On TV. 
with Bischoff grinning ear from ear as she did it. Oh, Eric Bischoff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me ask you guys. about the Wolf Pack, the NWO, and I man, they don't know nothing about all that. When I hit this to go, it's gonna give a list, and the number one person is the one that's gonna be the winner. Sounds good. Uh, what I've seen other people do, like I, I just won a recent uh, uh, raffle that I did, and they picked. They said they're gonna hit the button twelve times. 11 times and then number 12 was going to be the winner. Should we just do the very first? Or do y'all want to do a certain amount and then count the winner? Or? Whatever you think. I mean, that's it. either way, it's still going to just ring. Yeah. <laughs> and there's not that many people, so I guess it doesn't matter. Your choice, boss. Whatever you think, Kev. Okay, I'm going to hit it five times and then... It's number right. six. Number six. Good is luck, everybody. Thank you for watching. And do Kevin a favor and like the live stream if you don't care. It, it does help. All right. I'm going to hit it five times, and then number six is the winner. Oh, wait. Mr. V wants to hit it three times. Okay. Three times. The third one is the winner. Hey, Solo Hunter, do you want in? <laughs> he just popped in right before. Yeah, you should go ahead and add him. Yeah, I'm going to add him. Solo Hunter is a good guy. Yeah, he's he's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to hit it two times, and then number three is the winner. So three hit, three button clicks. Here we go. One. Two. And three. Rob802 is the winner. All right. Mr. Rob, congrats, buddy. Congratulations. Rob is a longtime supporter of Kevin's yeah. and the entire tag team. If you're not familiar with Rob, you should check his content out. He's a, he's a very passionate collector. Awesome. I'm glad that Rob won that. He's a good guy. Congratulations, Rob, man. Thank you for joining us like you often do. And well, speaking fellas, of news. Y'all having me on. I'm about to go to bed, but. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We're going for another hour. Thank you for joining awesome. us. And yeah, thank you got one more thing you want to say about the Disney acquisition of Mattel? How's it make you feel? Um, uh, I will say my mind is blown. That's my last. I mean, the I'm the possibility of the Hasbro era of Legends being over Dude, is that yeah, weird? I don't even know what's about to happen. <laughs> when you told me that, I was like, "What?" So, yeah. There you go. Like if it, there have been meetings. It started out, I'll tell you this, dude dog. There have been meetings between Hasbro and Disney about the reduction of the three and three quarter inch Star Wars toys not selling as expected. Okay. And you can blame the director of The Last Jedi all you want. The fact of the matter is the toys aren't moving. Right, right. And they're being sold to other stores that sell them for less, and then those someone else is buying those. And, so, yeah, they're going to these third hand stores and then they end up at Bargain Hunt or Goodwill or whatever. I mean, but Black Series are still proving to be something that you can flip and like resellers, you know, have field day with particular characters that are not evenly distributed. And that, that plagues this hobby. Everyone knows that. Oh, definitely. But the three and three quarter inch line is, is sitting. Okay. Even. Uh, Force Awaken toys are still sitting on the store some, some places. Yeah, that's true. So this problem starts with the bean counters at Disney looking at Hasbro and saying, maybe it's you guys and it's not the Star Wars license. It's going to be interesting, fellas. Well, it's I'm a major you shake. Thank you for having me. Hey, hour, thank you, dude. Dog. We appreciate you, dude. Thanks for taking time to hang out with us. No problem, man. I appreciate it. See y'all. Yeah, if, you, if everybody in this uh, in the uh, chat hasn't subscribed to Dude Dog, make sure you do. Hey, I appreciate that. And this content is stellar. Else, man. Make sure y'all get everybody up in here. You're the man, dude. Dog, appreciate you. So we're on the second hour, Kev. What's our uh, itinerary look like? Well, <laughs> second hour. So at the end of the second hour, guys, what I personally think is the better giveaway 
Uh, in my opinion, I mean, it's not an elite. It's probably not value point is not there, but it's those uh, prim it's primal cool clash. Pretty darn cool. Super cool. It's a primal clash. So <clears throat> it's the tiger one. Saber tooth. Saber tooth. So yeah, tiger. I got that one. Do you? Yeah, I got all of them. You know that. <laughs> it's Lantern, dude. It's Lantern. Luger has all the Lanterns. Yep, uh, the Kong Skull Island and the Rampage. I got it all. And any of the uh, military line they used to do? Do you have those? No, no, I'm not. I'm not into that. Yeah, I no, think I may have a, some of them. When, if uh, once me and Tad, Tad, uh, Tattoo Toy Hunter makes our deal. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> uh. Well, but I wanted to get into, I guess, the, the toy fair a little more in depth. Y'all covered a couple of things, but uh, I was gonna, David, do you did you have something specific you wanted to show off? We give you the. Uh, well, I just found out that even though they're not going to show it at the toy fair, but the uh, the person that's in charge of Mattel's Jurassic Park or Jurassic World line, uh, she uh. Said she had a little clip. Um, Kevin, if you can find it, um, it's a picture of the Brachiosaurus <laughs> for the Legacy Collection, and uh, uh, <clears throat> and it's not supposed to be released till like the end of the year, kind of like the fall, fall of 2019. And um, so that's that's something that's really exciting right there because everybody's been that's a, a long time collector of that line. Uh, has been wanting a, uh, a accurate uh, brachiosaurus, so it's going to be in scale with the three and three quarter figures. So, so that should be something that's real exciting to look forward to, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be about as big as the super colossal T Rex. So probably around that same price range as well. That's exactly exactly what I was just about to bring up. Uh, I, 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 we knew David would be excited yeah, about that. I was earlier. talking to Harry about it uh, yesterday. We were, we were like, Dave's going to get two of them bad boys. <laughs> From what I saw, it looks massive. Yeah. But here, let's look up a video. I'll go over and uh, take over chatting, Ted, if you want to. Oh, okay. I'll keep talking toy fair. We got a couple of figs if you all want to see them. An editor and a designer. With Let's fiber, see here. She'll find them all by it's a uh, just for staff. For a change. Get this guy in the way. Find thousands of freelance services in one place. Okay. What you know got there, Dondi? Companies for dinosaur toys. The party limited has. Let me uh. Turn that down a little. The first to check out the camp waits to break inside. A couple of figures that I picked up. Let's see what's in mm -hmm. there. Be careful. Are you excited? Oh, cool. ET. Uh, me too. I can't wait. I know. Ah, there you go. I don't know if this is the right one. No, that ain't it. Uh, Kevin. <laughs> no. Some of our nope. That's Safari. Okay. Then maybe it's the video before it. Let's see. Hey, baby. How you guys feel? Is this one Safari also? I wonder. Oh. No, this is old. Where did she say it was a YouTube video? Oh, no, it's not a YouTube video. It was just a little, it was a picture. That's all it was. It wasn't a, a video. Maybe I didn't make myself clear enough. But, uh, yeah, it was uh, It was on her Instagram page, and it was like a, a clip or like a picture. It had like uh, Alan Grant back towards the camera, and then he, he saw the little side piece of the Jeep, and then they had the Brachiosaurus. Uh, on there, all you saw really was like the the legs and the in the neck a little bit, and that was about it. Yeah. <laughs> they were so cool. That's awesome. <laughs> the picture I saw was just like kind of like silhouette of them. 
Hey, uh, Blooker, look what I found. <clears throat> yeah, is that is that the piece for uh, the the large one that you got? Yep, the little pilot inside. Oh. Yeah. I bought this whole lot just for him. Oh, for reals? Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Et. Man, those are nice. Do you want to eat? Yeah. I think, uh, if I'm correct, I think Kenner made the ET line back then. Yeah, I have a '80s ET that's a windup, and I have a bunch of the little ones like that that are still on card. But this one, this uh, is, uh, I'm gonna put in your box when I send you your wrestler. Sweet. I have one where he's dressed up like a girl. I got all kinds of them. <laughs> $10. You can get him. But it's it is worth it. Oh, yeah. It, it sure is. Unfortunately, mine's still boxed and unopened. <laughs> I, got, I got two vehicles coming, too. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So he'll be complete. Yeah, you need those tentacles so you can have it stand up. Does it work? You know if it still works? I haven't put batteries in it yet to figure it, see if it works or not. That's something I'm gonna probably when I get it complete, I'm probably gonna put batteries in it and see if he works, and then I'll do a video of, of, of putting it back together. Like you do with your G.I. Joe figure, your G.I. Joe toys. Uh... Yeah, if y'all haven't uh, checked out Blooker's videos, uh, definitely check his uh, videos out. I, I really uh, love those videos where you put the, the vehicles back together. Yeah. I should have got that set and sent it to you so you could put it back together. Yeah, oh, the, latest, too. the latest one is the snow vehicle, right, David? The, the snow cat, yeah. Yeah, I, I saw a... Uh, I saw a... Uh, what was the name of that vehicle? I saw uh Man Man at the flea market. The plane. Oh, the black one. The... Yeah, I should have got it for three dollars and said to Looker and had him put it back together. He you know, would have done it too. <laughs> well, uh, I was able to get a couple of these. I don't know if y'all seen these yet at, at uh, y'all's local targets, but um, I did pick up the Joker and King Shark. So this is another hole that I got myself into. So. <laughs> hey, tat uh, tattoo did you? Not a rat. But it's a rat. My influ influence tonight. Oh. Um, Savage land. Yeah, the the All primal right. age. Oh, that's a nice one. And then uh, the king shark. So I will open these eventually. Should I do a review on these? Would y'all like to see? Yeah. Would like would this be something y'all yes, be interested course. in seeing? Okay, definitely. I'll have to mix it up along with the. Uh, Jurassic Park stuff, you know. I know that I've been uh, a Jurassic World overload here lately, so I'm trying to uh, <laughs> trying to add uh, some more things. But as far as the uh, NECA Terminator goes, that's going to be in the package. I, I can't open that because it looks too good in the package. Agreed. There's just there's just certain things that you know they're okay to open. Like the, the primal age thing, I can open that. I don't have a problem with it. But if I get like like the NECA stuff, then yeah, that's gonna be left on card. Yeah, tattoo is getting ready to get close to his giveaway point. So once he does, uh, we're gonna. I mean, and then I hopefully I'll get to mine pretty soon, and we can do the giveaway. I, I how are we gonna do that? You're gonna still do the. You have to be subbed to my channel to get your, get your giveaway, and I do the same for you. Yeah, I figure we do this. Yeah, they have to be subbed to both. I'm gonna give two things away, and then you got something amazing to give away. So, yeah, that's that's uh, when I hit my 200 on my channel, I'm giving away this uh, thermal vision predator. So, somebody that, and I was thinking also maybe do, do two different prizes do this and a, and a retro prize, so two people actually will win. 
and it's gonna be open to international viewers. So you guys can uh, sub on this channel. channel. Sub his channel, like Anthony Gaming, and be part of the drawing when he posts that video. Yeah, that's an awesome prize to to give away. I want that. Uh, it looks cool. Yeah, I, I wanted it for my channel, but you know, I mean, for my collection. But I was like, well, you know, I'll give it away as a gift. I mean, a, a prize. <laughs> yeah. Put your hey, name in the chat, no need for people to click on it. Okay, that's fine. Hey, also, did you want? <clears throat> Can we wait until the next chat, uh, stream to give away this uh, Dick Tracy figure, or are we going to do it tonight? You can do it now or Wednesday, if you want to wait till Wednesday. We can do it yeah, tonight. Yeah, we're doing, extra, we're just doing a primal clash tonight. Save that for a future one. Okay, I got Let's you. Show it off tonight, though. Show it off for next week. Okay. Well, this next for next Wednesday, this is going to be one of the giveaways. It's a uh, Dick Tracy, on, on, minimum, pretty much not meant, but on card figure. I like these old school uh, 80s toys. Those were cool. David has a whole slew of them. Yep. Yeah. I got the I got pretty much uh, the whole set except for the blank and the two vehicles. But um, they're all complete except for, I want to say, Ichi. Ichi's the only one that's not complete. So I'm still... Uber Hulk, he has those. Oh, yeah. He's got all of them. <laughs> yeah, he has Open the or, or on I'm car? Uh, I think... I think he's got them loose. Mine, mine's are loose as well. So they were fun. I remember them as a kid. They were great toys. So I, as y'all know, that I, I did take a trip down to uh, Dallas Vintage Toys last weekend, and this is where I got this Archer. I just happened to look at their website and yeah. I found them because you know I've been we're so looking happy for, this. for you, Dave. We know how much that movie and those toys mean to you. Oh yeah. Uh, when I saw that as a, as a teenager in high school, man, I, I was, I was blown away by that movie. Cause that was like something else there, you know? Yeah. For the time, the special effects were pretty awesome. Yeah. I like that movie. It was, it was ahead of time. It didn't do too well though when it came out. Right. No, it didn't. It didn't get. It was critically panned, crit, crit or whatever you call it, crit, yeah. criticized. I, I remember going to the movie theater and seeing it, so I really liked it. They, they also they got a uh, um, what's his name? I can't remember. Uh, Nick Nitro. They got him incomplete. Even though I got one, I got. I do have a Nick Nitro, and he's not complete. But I think um, we'll probably go ahead and pick him up, and then just like. Either give the one that I have away or something, you know, because sometimes those accessories find, are. Huh? I want to find those uh, ones that talk. The bigger yeah, one. I only, I, yeah, I got one of them. But the one that I have has Tommy Lee Jones' voice on it. That's so awesome. There's, there's, there's one. I'll catch up with you, man. So you're way ahead of me all the time. I'm like. I think I'm close, and then all of a sudden you just pull ahead again. You need to stop, man. <laughs> There's no stopping the blooper. <laughs> There's no stopping. What, what was that? What, how'd you put it, uh, Harry? Back at, a while back, you said I was the uh, Liam Neeson <laughs> of the vintage game. <laughs> That's right. Well, man, Ted was talking in, in the last in my, on my stream the other t other day. We were like saying we're just gonna knock on the door and come walk in and say, "Hey, we're here to get our stuff and leave." <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. David's collection wall is, is is dry. Yeah, I was gonna mention to Do Dog, if, uh, but he left already. But um, I was gonna tell him because you know when he was talking about how he could just stand there and look at him for hours. I was about to say you can look at my wall for hours. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, I, I should. I would be like in your. I'd be mesmerized by your collection. I'd be walking there, and go, "Oh my God, I found heaven." <laughs> Did you get a space piggy, Kevin? Did I get what? A space piggy. Space piggy. Space piggy. Oh, Gamorian. <laughs> oh, yeah. the Gamorian. Yeah, it took us a minute to think about that. Like, space <laughs> in space. <laughs> Uh, 
So yeah, Kevin's giving away a vintage Goliath from the Gargoyles for Mint 25 Ooh, I need that. <laughs> Mint on card Goliath. And I don't have a I don't have any uh What's that Gargoyles. Yeah. Yeah, knocked hey, over. Yes, you did. Oh, bad. Oh. That's a Disney really needs to re reboot. They got the floor? No. You got twelve watching. All right. Huh? Um, it's <clears throat> we're about thirty-five minutes away from the drawing on the Primal Clash, and one lucky winner. So, Dondi, have you uh, gotten any more of these Godzilla figures? No, I, I got um, the one, but it, the, my wife works works at a, at the store that they're coming out on, uh, you know, and um, they have the one I got, and then they also have uh, the Mecha Godzilla, but they don't have any of the other ones. They all sold out, so I want I want the rest of them. They're really cool. If they're really cool basic figs, I also want that Mecha one they're coming out with. That looks really cool. Yeah, these uh these Bandai ones, uh, they released these about five years ago, and they just re uh, issued these again for the new movie. So I was pretty pretty excited to see them on on pegs again. The Godzilla that I have in the background, that I picked that up, and along with these, um, that's the 60th uh, anniversary one. And I, I left him on on card, but I was able to open up the rest of them. So this right here, this is uh like uh, Donnie said, Mecha Godzilla. And then here, here's the main villain for the new movie, King of Monsters, uh, King Ghidorah. And I know Neca is making a King Ghidorah and Mothra and. Uh, I think Godzilla for their movie line, and the this guy right here in the background, this is King Caesar. So I want the I want the turtle. What's his name? The who? The turtle, the one that um, spins around. And he's like supposed to be like a good guy. Like it's uh, I can't remember his name. Yeah, it looks like a turtle. Yeah, he's a turtle. I know the one you're talking about. He flies. Are you talking about? Are you talking about uh, Angaris? Probably. The one with the spines on the back. No, he's a big. He's like he, uh, he has like rockets. He oh, flies. you talking about uh, Gamera? Gamera, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> My wife's like, oh, she she got it before you, anybody else did. <laughs> Oh, Gamera. <laughs> yeah. right, Nobody. Rob, thanks for, for watching, bro. Congrats on the win. <laughs> yeah, nobody really yeah, talks about Gamera that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I, I like Godzilla. I mean, and I'm, I'm slowly getting back, you know, getting into it more than I was, but. uh Gamera was like one of my favorites out from the beginning. There's, there actually, we actually have a a guy that that's an artist here in Columbia. That all he does is uh, Godzilla art. Hey Don, did you have this? This is the uh, Legacy Collection of Gamera. Cool. This is the Eleven movie set. That's cool. No, I don't have that one. Also, let me pan over here. So here is, I don't know if y'all can see that clearly, but this is my small Godzilla collection right here as far as my movies go. So so what's your thoughts on the, um, the 90s Godzilla movie? Oh, the one with Matthew Broderick? Yes. Oh. Uh, as far as the movie itself goes, I like it, but just without the Godzilla name. 
<laughs> it's a it's a it's a good movie on its own, but if you just take out the Godzilla name, then it'd be a whole lot better. I think it would be real well received, in my opinion. Like you could have named it the Giant Iguana Attack, you know, and people will go see it. But <laughs> well, that's it is proven by what was that name of that movie where you don't even see the monster for most of the movie. Oh, he throws. Wow. Yeah, uh, Cloverfield. Cloverfield, yeah. People went and saw that movie, you know, and you don't even see the monster. Yeah. I, I like that. You only have two. You only see it. You only see the monster like maybe five seconds. <laughs> well, it's more than five seconds. Yeah. Like I thought Cloverfield was good. What's up, Chase, in the classics? Stuff, uh, uh, awesome reviews. Dondi, I want you to review that uh, the ID4 figure you got there once you get it complete. Yeah, I need to see if he works. I'll put some battery in him and see if he'll put up. But, I mean, he, the alien looks good in it. See? Oh, I don't know yeah. if you can see it, camera. That is cool. Yeah, it looks great. Yep. Yeah, I got, I got, I got in my next video, you'll see me open this up. You'll see this one, and I also got seven of the Dick Tracy figures. Uh, anybody else got the uh, been able to find the Black Panther wave for five dollars? Yeah, Random I saw Panther. it in my area. Renee did. I went. I saw them here, but they weren't five dollars. Well, let me yeah. see what I got. Look at this. I found this for ten dollars. Mm -hmm. Look, at, look at one punch, man. You can't even recognize him anymore. Go <laughs> get the hat. So you found that black manta for ten dollars, Dondi? Yep, ten bucks. You're not opening him? Yeah, I'm a, the box is all tore up, so I'm gonna open it up and review it. That black man is awesome. Yeah, t t I got Emily gets a discount, mm -hmm. so I actually get a, a, a discount on a discount toy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't see that wave in my area anymore. I think that wave's long gone. I barely even see the basic figures at Target anymore. I want to build that that, and I want to army build that figure. That they would look a trench creature. Yeah, the trench creature <laughs> would look cool in the, ar the army build out. You know they're supposed to do a, a spinoff uh, movie of Aquaman with the trench creature called the Trench Warriors or something like that. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. That, 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 that the, seen Aquaman, you need to get it, go see it if you can in the Dollar Theater or something because it's awesome movie. Yeah, they they are gonna do a movie about you know at the beginning and how they became the Trench Warriors and all that and why. So I think that'd be a cool uh, film to watch. If anything, they should make that into a TV series, you know, like a, a season or a mini series, you know, instead of a whole movie. Um, or is he going to go see uh, Elite Battle Angel? I haven't seen it yet. We're going to go see it tomorrow, right, baby? Yeah. We're going to do Valentine's Day tomorrow. We're going to see it and have dinner. That's nice. Cool. David, uh, you want to give your thoughts on McFarlane acquiring the DC license? Uh, I really don't have any thoughts on it, to be honest with you, because that's not a line I collect. <laughs> but um, I, I think it's a good change-up. I know a lot of people don't like change, you know, 
me personally, I didn't like chains back in the day, but you know, as contracts and stuff like that expire, you know, like y'all was talking about in the beginning, you know, it's all about the almighty dollar and you want to go with the best company that you think is going to make you the most money. So, um, as far as, you know, the past few years since Mattel had the license, you know, I didn't think they really did a good job in my opinion. You know, I don't, I don't collect multiverse. There was a couple of things. I mean, they just now stepping up their game because they knew that their, their contract was going to expire and that they was going to go somewhere else. So that's why you're getting all the good quality stuff now. You know, where was all that quality stuff in the beginning? <laughs> See what I'm saying? And, uh, but I think uh, McFarlane will do it justice. You know, I don't know much about the uh, the Spin Master company, except for the, a couple of things that I've seen in stores. Hopefully, they they do well. Me personally, I'm not going to pick any of them up. You know, just because I don't really collect that kind of stuff. You know, if anything, um, <clears throat> the only thing as far as McFarland stuff that I pick up is Stranger Things because that's like the only figure line that they got. <laughs> so that's like the only option I have. I don't so. think the Spin Master DC toys are going to be geared to adult collectors if they're going to be children's toys. Yeah, that's, that's, that's why they well. got McFarland to do for the adult collectors. Yeah. You know, um, before as, uh, you know, uh, McFarlane, you know, I, I know you collect the old school Spawn toys, right, Blooker? Yes, sir. Okay, so if it was, if he goes back to that old school, you know, you know, toys and does DC, you know, that type of toy, I think it'd be awesome. Then you've got my attention. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So that's what I'm thinking, you know, he, he should do that. You know, go back to making, like, what he used to do for the old school Spawn. If Imagine he if he did a Batman, but in, like, his style. Ooh. Yeah, well, there was a Spawn Batman comic, so that would be perfect. You know, just do a Spawn Batman. Yeah. Oh, God, the, the potential there is just, oh. and I think, and, I, think you know, I have the first issue of that, the Spawn Batman comic. I think I have oh, the first wow. issue. How did that go down between those two? They're, right now they're doing they're even doing Max versus Spawn right now or Max and Spawn you know together in a comic so that would be awesome as well. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay. So we are. What time is it? We're about twenty five minutes away from giving away the Primal Clash. Stay in the chat, like the live stream. Be present for the picking, and you could win that Primal Clash as the Saber Tooth Tiger. Kevin Wendt did a special hunt for the stream today, and he got two prizes. He's already given away one, and you guys have an opportunity to win. The going back to DC. Saber Tooth. Going back to DC for a moment. Did y'all see the announcement that they're going to do a Batman Ninja Turtles uh, t uh, cartoon movie? Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, they're getting ready. They're gonna do Batman versus um, with the Ninja Turtles from Who's the comic. gonna do it, DC? I think so. Oh, let me let me look that uh, link up. It's gonna be like the quality that we expect from the DC animated universe. I th I think so because it was it looked like it's gonna be pretty uh, pretty cool. I'd be into that. I'd watch that. Yeah, I, I I shared a link on Facebook. Let me pull it up real quick. Uh, it says Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle crossover being adapted as an animated film. And, um, and it's going to be released by um, DC. It's a partnership of DC and Nickelodeon. It's going to be released on home video later this spring. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I, I would watch it. It's based on the newer comic where Batman met the Ninja Turtles by uh, Dark. It's, um, and they're also thinking about doing uh, the Dark Horse uh, Alien vs. Predator. Yeah. Um, again, something like that. Cart cartoon film. I love me some a AVP. 
Apparently, Harley Quinn's going to be in it. Poison Ivy, Bane, Ross Al Ghul, Batgirl, the Penguin, um, and then the voice of Raphael, Michelangelo, Donatello, Leonardo, and Tom Kenny's going to be playing the Penguin, so that's pretty cool. People are asking about your X Force shirt. Yeah, I got it at Walmart. It's pretty cool, huh? I love it. Yeah, great. It's a great shirt. And my wife, I actually found a uh, Scott Pilgrim versus the World Turns t shirt as well, but she, my wife stole it. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> she asked, Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Not me. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> hey, say, tell her what you said earlier in the other chat. Where I mean, in the other live stream, where y'all saying that um, if I got on and she beat me, yeah, we would take her side. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I believe you now. <laughs> I was telling her she didn't believe me. Beating still to come. Turn on. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not beat down yet, so it's it's all good, you know. <laughs> what was it you were saying? Like the uh, Punisher looked like black and blue, like yeah. the Punisher. Yeah. <laughs> so they did cancel season three on Netflix. It's officially canceled. Yeah, you were saying and about now, Hulu, Hulu making is a making a pull to an, an, an offer to Disney to let them be the platform to show it. Oh, guys, All the back. canceled Marvel shows. <laughs> Daredevil. I have, I have Hulu. Day. I don't have it anymore, so I'd be I'd be fine with that. Iron Fist probably is not gonna get another show on any network. I don't understand That's that. Right. I, I I believe, and this is my only opinion, that the Iron Fist was the closest to a comic book um a, a show. I mean, you know. Luke Cage, I love Jessica Jones. Love Daredevil, awesome. You Danny the Green, action. He grew on me a little bit. How far away are you from the, having the whole Max Looker? Uh, this is the only piece I got so far, but I do have this Max right here. So, if McFarlane can give us quality toys for DC, I'll be down like this, you know. You don't necessarily have to have this big ass, excuse me, this big old bubble blister, you know, but, you know, if we can get the quality stuff like this, man. But I'm just afraid those days are all gone, you know. No, no, he did pretty good. I mean, on the uh, on the Fortnite figure. I mean, yeah, everybody's going crazy for those things. I haven't picked them up because I don't know nothing about Fortnite. So. Yeah, well, I mean, if you if you get one of the figures and really look at it, it it's it's almost close to that that quality, if maybe even better with the new technology. So if he does that with DC. I'm all about it. Because, I mean... This here? You can't... You can't this here, man, you can't... It's not what we should have for DC. No, I, I was thinking about getting that line, that superpowers line that they did, but I just quickly passed on it. Didn't interest I me got at it for five dollars at Ollie's, and so I was like, "Okay, for five dollars, I'll pick it up." But it's not, you know, it's not something you would sit up on a shelf and, and pose, you know. No. <laughs> but I'm really excited about completing that pit. You know, that thing is oh, going to be. Yeah. It's going to be. I think I think I'll do what I do did with the uh, GI Joe stuff, yeah. you know, just build a pit like Make one a by one. About it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do well, Sandman promised me that I could find one at this toy show coming up, so he. Yeah, he got yeah, it. we're all going to Lexington, and you know who's going to be there is 
a shout out to Hector. It's got to be Kane. <laughs> Man, whenever Hector does that on his video, it's gotta I be crying. <laughs> Man, he be making my day with that stuff. It's got to be Kane. <laughs> I think my wife. I, I think Tim's gonna probably be excited about the Power Rangers people. Tommy, is gonna be there. I would love to get his autograph. And then who? Who else was I telling you, baby? That's gonna be there. Yeah. Oh, and um, Good Burger. Cal Mitchell's gonna be there. Uh, Luke Cage's oh. actor is gonna be there. You know, home of the Good Burger. Can you take? Can I take your order? No. Bye bye. <clears throat> the one that never did anything with himself afterwards. <laughs> Keenan went to SNL. Yeah, he's made a whole career out of it. <laughs> Kel's like, Kel's on Nickelodeon still. You talking about this? He, I think he, I think he has a family. That's the reason why he really didn't do anything. He has three kids now. Emily, Sam. Oh, well, there's the movie right here. I got. Yeah. Mm. Just send it to Sandman and get it signed for you. No kidding, right? They probably charge fifty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they definitely are. I love the Max. The Max was cool. Yeah, I want that figure. Again, something that he has that I want. <laughs> that one's hard to get, and it's expensive. Well, I, I, I got... I, take a wild guess where I got that Max at. I'm going to say <laughs> the movie... <laughs> You're right. That, I, it was nine ninety nine. That is a steal. Yep. I had a, I, a vendor at com at Comic Cons. I used to I used to sell toys and anime and stuff like that. I had the opportunity to pick that figure up with a bunch of anime uh, figures, and I passed on it. I kicked myself. Man, this is you want to see what I used to have? Look at this. The only other one that I really want right now that I've seen that I like is the, that Cygor. I think it's Cygor 2. I think he looks awesome. He's big. Yeah, I saw him at that. He was at Dallas Vintage. I don't remember how much it was, but I, I had it in my hand. I was looking at it. Look at this, fella. Nice. Try again. Yeah, I've seen a few of those. Nice. They come with a lot of accessories, right? Yep. I got this, and I also had uh, a couple other anime figures that I got rid of. I had Ghost in the Shell and Apple Seed. If you know what Apple Seed is. Hey, if y'all want to check out my channel, definitely check it out because I actually have a show where I talk about their anime that, that people don't know about. Did you watch Tattoo? Did you ever watch Armitage? Which one? The the Cyber Girl? One? I don't think I've got to see it yet. Bow and Armitage are both really good. So if y'all, and they're both, I think, on Netflix for free. Not Netflix, but um, YouTube for free. So. I do want to see it. I want to see that also, that one. Uh, all the kiddos are watching it. That Hero Academia. The yeah, Hero Academia is great. I've been I've been watching that. It's really good. <clears throat> I'm gonna slowly start taking names for this next uh, away. Yeah, you have to be in the chat to the end of the of the stream to be in the next giveaway. So make sure you stay in the chat and keep talk, talk, give us con give us uh, content that you want to talk about. So tell us what you want to hear hear us talk about. For sure. Arthur, you want in the giveaway? We're about to do a giveaway here in a few minutes. I love Cowboy Bebop, Smith. Yeah, hey, uh, hey, uh, you, uh, Sandman, you like, you like Cowboy Bebop? Absolutely. One, definitely in my top five. You never, Sorry. yeah. You tell me Mr. Bebop. Smith, you want to in on this giveaway? We're about to do a giveaway. Of a primal clash figure. Saber Tooth. Hey, the Punisher, hey, hey, tattoo. The Punisher toys and action figures asked uh, if he's he's fairly new to toy collecting. What figure would you suggest him to start with? What collection? Ooh. 
Uh, <laughs> it depends on what you're interested in. There's an oh yeah. I've actually seen his collection. He has a lot of older stuff. He got some nice stuff. That's a deep, deep question there. It's like when He's Ray really jumped down like that 16, Ray 15. jumped down that black hole in the last Jedi and tried to figure out who she was. Do you yeah. think he should start collecting new or you think he should start collecting vintage? Or if you were to if you were to if you were to mentor a new collector, what would you tell Dave him? Dave has some for- advice. Dave has some advice. Go ahead, Dave. What do you all right. Um, <laughs> in all honesty, you need to find what your niche is and what you like. You know, you. the main thing is what are your interests and what is the reason for collecting? You know, a lot of people just collect just because they're hoarders and a lot I of people dream. just... Uh, a lot of people, yeah. Yeah, or hype beast, you know, if we know what that means. You know, a lot of people are hype beast and they just want to fit in. You know, don't do that. That's that's the wrong way to go down that path. You know, for me, uh, when I started, I've been collecting for over twenty years, on and off. So, a lot of my stuff, you know, I still have a lot. You know, I don't have, but. Um, <clears throat> When I started back about three years ago, again, um, I did the hype beast thing, and that was the wrong way to go about doing it. And I quickly learned that a lot of the stuff that I had at the time, I didn't need because it's like, why am I doing this? You know, because I was just doing it just because everybody else was doing it. Don't do that. <laughs> that that's the number one mistake. But if you are into certain things, like for me, my biggest thing is dinosaurs. So I collect various dinosaur toy lines like Dino Riders, um, <laughs> Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, you know, just anything that's dinosaurs that, you know, stuff that I grew up, you know, that's what I, I get into. And uh, I just uh, got a new package uh, in the mail from eBay. Uh, I will do be doing a video of it, but, you know, it's a dinosaur related thing. But uh I used to have those as a kid, you know, uh, and sometimes a lot of collectors, they also, they want to collect certain things that they previously had in their childhood, you know, so, and that's another thing that if you're interested in, in collecting what you used to have, then by all means, go that route, you know, it'd be a lot easier and probably a lot cheaper, but it just all depends on what your interests are and what you what you want to get into. You know, that's basically what it really boils down into. It. I'm not enjoying it. Okay. Sorry, huh? I don't know if that helped or not, but hopefully that helped out. It did. Well, you know, it also I feel that some of the reason why you should collect is you know what. A lot of people collect because they want to get back with their child, what they left, lost in childhood. So when you're, you know, when you collect, when I collect, I'm buying the stuff that I like to have. I I would love to have when I was a kid, and or or getting trying to get back from be when I was when I lost from a, be a kid. Um, if you buy something like stuff like that, then you're gonna always want to keep because you're not gonna want to give it get lose it again. You know exactly. Like for me growing up, I I I was on the, the like everybody else in the in the eighties, early nineties, you know, the Ninja Turtles, the uh the He Man. Um I had those. I didn't have any Thundercats or any Voltron or anything like that. You know, mine was basically like Dino Riders, definitely dinosaurs, Ninja Turtles, He Man. Um I had a lot of other stuff like Mad Balls. I, I think I remember having that. I did have a few army ants. Um, let's see what else was there. Uh, those uh, muscle figures, those little bitty muscle figures. I had some of those. Um, it wasn't much, but you know, it was. It was. It, it went a long way, you know. And some of those things I'd like to collect back, as far as you know, collecting from my childhood. You know, the muscles. That would be. Those would be pretty cool to have back again. The army ants. I know Kevin has a, a few of those. He just recently got some of those. Um, and 
Yeah, that's probably about it that I can remember. What about you, ta- ta- tattoo? What do you? What do you? you what was? What is that the reason why you collect? I, I collect. I think for the most part of me collecting is the same stories everybody else recollecting your childhood and all that. I just always loved my, my toys from the eighties. I think that's my, even though I collect a lot, that's my where I would say my love is for the most part is all eighties stuff. <clears throat> hey, uh, Sam, man, uh, God Tank says he collects uh, Black Series as well. Yeah, uh, I'm hoping that they'll show whatever episode nine figures are going to look like if this is Hasbro's last year with Star Wars. So hopefully we'll see something uh, revealing what to expect from that movie. I mean, I know in May those figures will probably be for sale for Star Wars Day. The movie's supposed to hit theaters, I think, July. Oh, there's a movie coming out? I, I yeah, didn't know they... Uh, episode 9 comes out this year. Oh, wow. I didn't ends, know that. When did they start filming ends, that? It ends the Force Awakens trilogy. When did they start filming that? I don't know it's any been, information it's about been that. It's in the works. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> they filmed it last year when when Solo came out in theater. Oh, gotcha. The year they... Go ahead. Well, that's Jedi to Solo. So yeah, this summer is the end of the current trilogy that ends the Skywalker storyline forever. Well, let's hopefully they go out with a bang because the the last Jedi didn't really please a lot. Supposedly, George Lucas was offered the the, the helm to direct this last one. Hmm. And JJ as a producer. Initially, everyone thought JJ was going to produce and direct it. And now it's looking like we won't know for sure until celebration. It's time to pick the winner. Let's turn it over to Kevin. Pay attention, everybody. All right. So I'm going to, this is going to be what we're going for right now. This is the Dino Wrangler. Walmart exclusive. I want to make sure I have everybody in here. I think I got everybody. Oh, my Richter says throw his name in. I got him in there. He said he's going to send it to his son if he wins. There you go. Brick by brick. I got brick in there. Here's the list if you can see it. Uh, oh, overkill in the chat. What's Welcome, up, up, friend. What's up, Tim? Mr. Tim and Tim <clears throat> So I think I have everybody in the chat right now. There's 14 watching. Anyone, this is your last call. Yeah. Last they, call. They don't your name right now. Oh, you right? have audio five in there. I got audio five. What's up, Tim? Everything's going good, man. Brick by Bricks in here. Punisher, Mr. V, Brad. And if they're not here, it won't matter if I left their name in. <laughs> Mr. Yeah, man, Smith is here. Can't wait to hang with y'all, man. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah it's about Mr. Cody's in there. Justin is coming, there. too. Yeah, I know. Justin will be there, too, in Lexington. Man. Yeah, That's I know. Cool. Okay, uh, how many times do y'all want me to click this? Let's do what you were initially going to do. The six, five, and then the number six. (laughs) Okay, this is what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to click it four times, and then the fifth one will be the winner. So the first four don't count. Four clicks, and the number five is the winner. Five times total. Thanks for participating, everybody. It's it's fun. (laughs) Okay, so five clicks total. Here we go. I think we got everybody in here? Yep. All right, here we go. Closed now. The giveaway's closed. The giveaway's closed. Yeah. All right, here we go. One. 
two, two, three, four. All right, here goes, guys. Number five. And this is the winner. Five. Audio, Audio five. five. How fitting. You were in, Brad. I died with the number five in his name. <laughs> yeah. I went to five. Congratulations. Five one. Congratulations. I got you all in, guys, but audio came out on top over video. Definitely uh, audio came over video. You got <laughs> Sam cracking up over that one. <laughs> Congrats, audio. Woo. More spoken, brother. Make sure you uh, send Kevin a message. Yeah, get a hold of him. Thank you for good videos, Kevin. Most welcome. Just get a hold of me on either private message, Instagram, Facebook, email. I don't care, and I'll uh, I'll get your address where you want it to be sent. <clears throat> I already have Ross. Kevin and I and all the guys want to do these regularly, and we're all going to participate. It won't solely be Kevin's responsibility to give. And well, Justin to Osgood, he's planning on doing a uh, archive loop. There's something Donnie's looking to give away over a live stream. That's a Dick Tracy vineyard. Men on card. Yeah, if you want to make that about a uh, – do that like Wednesday. Uh, or when are you off next, uh, Donnie? I'm off Wednesday, so we can do it on the next live stream on Wednesday. Oh. There you go. We'll do it Wednesday, and we'll do. We'll, uh, I'll start advertising it tomorrow. Oh, by the way, um, while we're on this live stream, everybody, say um, uh, happy birthday to Emily. She'll be. Uh, she's gonna be. Uh, that's her birthday on the twentieth, which is that's that's Wednesday as well. All right, happy All right. birthday! Happy birthday! No. <laughs> she asked me if I was gonna say my age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hear everything y'all say. <laughs> no. So she didn't, I guess they didn't know they were on on the stream when they talk. <laughs> hey, Dondi, do you have this guy in your Sea Sharks collection? The yeah, I got him. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I wanna, I I'm looking for. Uh, I think uh, the I got the I got the um I think uh, two toy hunters that he got me the main bad guy, Mister per Doctor Piranha, Doctor Piranha, yeah. And there's an, there's another couple of I need a I need a bunch of them still. I want to get the whole I want to complete that whole collection. Well, I'm I'm not looking to complete the collection. I just want like the main characters as far as you know all the variants and stuff uh, i'm good on those arthur some some demands i guess that's how he says like this says he would like to uh see if anybody would sub to him sure Give him a sub and he'll sub you back. Yep, make sure you sub anybody who gives you sub back. <clears throat> if anybody wants to put up their YouTube channel in the chat, you're more than welcome, right? For sure. <laughs> sub party. <laughs> just, let, just remind you, like I said, uh, it was, uh, I'm, I'm trying to get to 200 subs so where I can give away a Predator, a NECA Predator. So please sub to me. For sure. <laughs> Just, just remember, if you sub any one of us, make sure you watch all of our videos. So that way, you know, we can get the views and make it count. Don't just sub just because, just to have a sub collecting, you know. We're not in it to collect subs. We're in it, you know, just to share our wealth of knowledge of our figures and our collections and stuff with you guys. Before we kill this stream, I just want a big shout out, do dog. We're hopping on for the first hour. So if you're late to this stream, definitely check out the beginning, the first hour, because we have the privilege of having Duda chop it up with us, and we were talking Toy Fair. We were talking collecting in general, his tips for how to become a monetized YouTuber. Uh, he gave a lot of nods to Kevin and David about 
you know, what they're doing to grow and how they're hindering, you know, Dave and Venom Fang and these other guys are getting close to where monetization it can be attained soon. So following Kevin's footsteps. Yeah, once you get past that 1,000 subs, man, then it really start kicking off, you know? Sure. If anything, you can look at it as a way to pay for the hobby. Yeah. Talking about the hobby can pay for your hobby. It, it, <clears throat> Whenever you're ready, Cody, I'll help you get started. Yeah, that's that's what tag team's about is you know helping each other with uh, toys and with uh, our YouTube channels. I'm so grateful to have met you know all these guys here because I've learned so much in the short time that I've been doing this. Just because yeah, I'm you know, with them, you've grown a lot in the time you've been. You know, yeah. you've taken the advice we've given you and you've ran with it. Hector. Yeah. When I brought Hector in, he had 50 subs. And now, Look at him now. we armed him with what he needed to do. You needed a better, you need to be more searchable. You need better thumbnails. You need this. He took all the advice and he ran with it. And now his content speaks for itself. It's like over what, 300 subs? No. He's almost at the 500. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's up there. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Record says goodnight pretty much. He's he's leaving, so goodnight, old my Record. It's great, you know, having you in the chat. I think this is a good stopping point, Kev, if you're... Yeah. Good night, Rickers. We'll see you on Instagram world. <laughs> yeah, thanks, well, thanks for having me, guys. Thank you, Kevin, for Posting as usual, and thanks to all the wives for promoting our nerdy hobby. Yeah, yeah. Be patient with wives us and party. girlfriends. Most definitely. And wives and girlfriends, depending. Yeah, I didn't get killed, so it's all good. And the mistresses, too. <laughs> you had not got beat up yet, but have us once oh. be done. <laughs> Shout out to the mistresses. <laughs> <laughs> they get beat. Whose names will remain unknown. <laughs> You know, uh, she's over there making Padamon, Palmon, so I think she's, she's fine. No, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> no witnesses. I, I'm getting beat up too tonight, Dondi, for the mistress, the mistress joke. <laughs> the mistress of the dark. <laughs> <laughs> it's an action figure. If I go out, get toy hunting for you when you're sick. I, I can't, you know, do better. Oh, on that, oh, before we leave, on the last note, uh, I am going to go to check out the Lost Toys for the first time in Dallas. So that should be an interesting hunt right there for myself. So oh, yeah. hopefully I can, yeah, hopefully I can find some stuff to complete some of my collections that, you know, that I need to fill in. So... Luckily, so far, my trips from Retro Madness and uh, Dallas Vintage has been a success for me. So it's awesome. More content. Check out all the tag team toy collectors. They're all located in Kevin's description of his videos. Check all the toy collectors out. There's something for everybody. Something for everybody. New, old, niches, broad, vast. And dinosaurs. And dinosaurs. <laughs> the action yeah. figures are our mistresses, right, Kevin? That's right. <laughs> we have to toe the line, though, and be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Tim, Mr. Tim Overkill, uh, we were talking the last time about the, all the new uh, Pokemon collector channels that we've got that were uh, oh. trending, but we already had our Pokemon guy in the group for a while. Yep. Now. Tim's been hard for two, two and a half, four years, man. Oh, I thought you just crossed 200 hmm. I would never buy any new ones, but I would definitely buy the vintage just to have. That's all you, buddy. I'm going to skip hey. that line. <laughs> <laughs> I got to add it because uh, it's the only thing I don't have. If you if you're into Pokemon, you should check out my wife's channel. She actually plays the ocarina, which is a musical instrument, and she actually has uh, some of the Pokemon theme songs on the channel. 
I've actually used their music before for uh, background music and videos. I need to use it again too because I have it still saved. Yeah, and she's uh, done um, the Dragon Call from um, Power Rangers. She's uh, done a lot of video game music. So definitely, um, that's how one of the re what reasons why I was uh, I'm you know met her is because she's playing the Mario theme at a at a convention. And it was love at first sight. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> hey baby. <laughs> hey baby. <laughs> Did it work? It never works. <laughs> yeah. So. So this is fun, but I gotta get some sleep. I've I've had that twelve hour shift, and mom kept I'm getting ready to fall asleep. <laughs> Same here. Hi everybody! Congratulations to the winner. Yeah. Congratulations! I'll be getting a hold of audio and Rob. Well, Rob already have his. We've done some deals in the past, so I I know him. I just Hi, need Dave. To but yeah, thanks, thanks for, for joining us, brother. Thanks, Hopefully fellas. Next Wednesday. Thanks for having me. I won't be able to be joining next week because I'll be at work. I just got lucky this time. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's how it goes, man. Well, Dave, is. if you ever want to jump in a live stream, let me know. We can do it on my channel. Okay. We'll do. All right. Catch y'all later. All right. Good night, y'all. See you guys. All right, Stay peace out. Never give up that hunt. Keep popping those tags, everybody. Buy what you love and not what you like. Because if you buy what you like, <laughs> you'll always end up getting rid of it. <laughs> and uh, later. What's and uh, <clears throat> Harry's is click. <laughs> <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, take it easy. <laughs>